Hey, what's up, Jigs are here. With Find My, you can not only conveniently locate devices, but you can also access real-time information about where your family members are located. In this video, I will walk you through the process of using the application, setting it up, and enabling location sharing to keep track of each other on your iPhone. Let's go! If you want to share your location with friends and family and get notifications when someone leaves or comes home, you can use the Find My app on your iPhone. Google Maps also offers a similar way to share your location with others. Just click the tag in the upper right corner if you prefer to use Google Maps or have an Android device. Before using the Find My app's location sharing feature, make sure the location service is enabled on your device. To check, go to Settings and navigate to Privacy and Security. Turn on Location Services and tap Share My Location. Make sure both Find My iPhone and Share My Location are activated. Additionally, set the location access for Find My to while using the app. If you want all of your significant locations to be recorded, go back to Location Services, tap System Services and toggle on Significant Locations. To set up location sharing, open Find My, go to the Me tab and enable Share My Location. Also, you can check which device you're currently sharing your location with in the From section. To share the location with friends, go to the People tab. For first time setup, click Start Sharing Location. Otherwise, tap Add and select Share My Location. Then, you can either manually enter the name or phone number of the person that you want to share your location with, or simply choose directly from your contact list. Press Send, choose to share your location for a set duration, and confirm with OK. When you share your location with someone, they have the option to share their location back. To share your location with family members, open Settings, tap your Apple ID, and select Family Sharing. Under Family, click Location Sharing and tap Share Location. You can also choose to remove specific family members with whom you share your location. Take note that children and teens with screen time enabled may not be able to modify their location sharing settings. After sharing your location with another, you can ask to see their location as well if they haven't shared it with you yet. Just go to the People tab in Find My App Select the person you shared with and tap Ask to Follow Location from their profile. When someone shares their location with you, select their name under People and tap Share to share your location too. To decline their location sharing request, choose Don't Share or Cancel. Since iOS 14, you can set up recurring location-based notifications to track someone's arrival, departure, or if they're not in a specific place during certain times. To set this up, choose the person you want notifications for in the People section. Tap Add and select Notify Friend. Then you can choose either I Arrive or I Leave, Pick a location or create a new one with a radius and set if you want to notify them only once or every time. After setting up, tap Add to save your changes. Additionally, you can set up around 25 notifications which can be modified or removed as needed. When someone has shared their location with you, you can track their location in the People tab and see their position on the map. If you're not following their location, it will say can see your location, and you can request to view theirs. Otherwise, you'll see no location found below their name if they cannot be located. To stop sharing your location, go to the Me tab and turn off Share My Location for everyone. If you want to stop sharing individually, go to the People tab, select the person, and click Stop Sharing My Location. You can also disable Allow Friend Requests in the Me tab. Keep in mind that deleting the Find My app won't immediately stop location sharing. You must manually stop location sharing first. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions.
See you next time. Bye.